All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn in, turn this uh, cross-section view that we created. I'm going to show you how to turn that into a cross-section that looks more like this. So this would be our cross-section that we want to have. And so there's a few different things we need to go through. So one of those things is we need to go in and do a little bit of work on how this road is being displayed in our cross-section. So I'll show you where to do that. Another thing is just the format of this cross-section view itself, such as the label, uh, these labels down the sides. So we'll go in and edit the cross-section view. And then some of this is just text that we create, either text or dimensions. And so I'll point that stuff out as well. So if you go ahead and open up P9-49 that we've been working on, we'll start from there. So what we're gonna do first is if we take a look at our corridor, cross section, you'll see that there's some shading here and there's these little ringlets. So let's go ahead and get rid of those first. So to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that corridor. It brings up these options. Uh, one of my options is section properties. I'll come down and click right on section properties. And what I'm gonna do first is my object style. I'm gonna change it from being standard to all codes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of it. I'm gonna call this all codes hyphen SATC. And then I'll go ahead and hit OK. I'll hit OK again. And you'll see how that got rid of those little rings. Okay, I still have some shading. And now I've got some labels, which I want some labels. I just need to work with them a little bit. So with that cross section still selected, come back up to section properties. And we're gonna click on edit code set style. Before I do that, I want to move this section view to one side of my drawing so that I can view it and I can have the other one up and I could be making changes and applying those changes as I go. So I'm going to put my section view off to the side like that. Come on back up here with my corridor still selected. Click on section properties and then go right to edit code set style. That way I can put these side by side and I can work on them at the same time. So on the codes tab, I'm going to come down to shapes and I'm going to expand out shapes and then click on the very first one, scroll all the way down, hold down shift, select the last one. And then what I'm going to change in here is this style. So I'm going to click in this style box and here on the end, there's a little icon. Go ahead and click on the icon. And for this, we want to change all these to be no shading. So I'll just click no shading, hit OK. And you'll see how all those change to be no shading. Go ahead and click on apply. And then if I had zoomed in on this, you'll see how there's now, there's no more shading there on my corridor. So then the next thing we want to take a look at are these links. So I'll expand out links. And in here, we're looking at the labels. So this is where we're going to start working with these labels here on the side. So if you look down through here, here on daylight, there's this uh, steep grade lab label. So we wanna go ahead and edit that. So I'll click in that box, then click that little label icon out to the right. Uh, like always, we'll go ahead and make a copy of this. So I'll change that from steep grades to steep grades hyphen SATC. Come on over to layout and you'll notice that there's uh, two different components in this label. We've got run over rise and we have direction arrow. So first thing is I'll go ahead and select direction arrow and we're going to change its visibility to false and then go ahead and hit apply and that gets rid of our direction arrow. And now I'll switch back to run over rise and the only thing I need to change in here is this text height. I want it to be an eighth inch so I'll go ahead and change the text height to be 0.125, I'll go ahead and hit OK in there. On this uh, pick style box, I'll go ahead and hit OK, and then I'll go ahead and hit apply. And you'll see how that text got a little bit bigger. My arrows went away. And then the other thing I want to change is under pave. So pave, that's this uh, very top layer in my assembly. When we created it, that was uh, what we were considering pave. So I want to add a label to that. 
So here under the label style column, I'll click on that little label icon. And out of here, we want to choose flat grade. So we'll choose that, make a copy of it, make it flat grades, hyphen SATC. Come on over to layout. Same thing in here. I'm going to switch to direction arrow and change that to be false. Then I'll change my component name back to percent grade, make that 0.125, and then go ahead and hit OK. Hit OK again in the pick style box. And then when I get back to my code set style, I'll click on apply, and you'll see some numbers show up there across the top. And then that's all the changes we want to make here in our code set style. So I'll go ahead and hit OK here. I can zoom in here and take a look at this. So if I change my scale a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to one inch equals 20 feet, and that'll make it a little easier to read. You know, essentially your scale is gonna be determined on what viewport size you're using on your sheet. And so you're just gonna use the appropriate scale that arranges this that makes it fit on your sheet. All right, so that's all for our corridor or making little changes there so then the next thing is our cross-section view so if I click on any of these grid lines it's going to bring up these uh, properties up here again so now this time I'm going to move this over to the side again now under section view properties I'll go ahead and click on section view properties and pretty similar to what I did before Here under object style for standard, I want to go ahead and make a copy of that. And we're going to call it standard hyphen SATC. And then just start working through these different tabs. So before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. And my section view properties, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here again. And then with that cross section still selected, I'm gonna come back and do edit section view style. That way I can put these side by side. I can make changes here and apply them and see what kind of changes are being made over here. So in graph, everything's good. In grid, just change your adding to zero all the way around. And then hit apply. And you'll see how that kind of shrunk that view down. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay here just so I can kind of make that bigger. Zoom in on that a little bit and move it off over here to the side. So then I'll select that cross section view again, go right down to edit section view style. So that's all I wanted to change here in the grid section. So then I'll go ahead and take a look at title annotation. And here, my text style, I'm going to use SATC annotative. Text height will be 0.125. My Format. I want this to be 1 plus 0, 0 without the extra zeros. So to do that here under title content, I'll click on this little icon. I'll select this text on the right, change my, change my precision here on the left to be to the nearest one foot. I'll push it over, hit OK, hit apply, and you'll see how that changed that title. All right, everything else there looks good. I'll go on over to horizontal axes. So same the same some of the same type of changes here under tick size change that to 0.125 text height change that to 0.125 for my text style change it to be SATC annotative my tick label text I need to change it as well so I'll go ahead and click on that little icon next to the tick label text field and here Click on the text on the right, come on over here on the left, change the precision to be the nearest foot, push it over, hit OK, hit Apply, and you'll see how those changed there along the bottom. My minor tick details over here for tick size, I'll change that to be 0.065. And actually everything else there looks OK. Now I'll come on over to vertical axes. So since this is going to be displayed on the left and on the right, I'm going to have to do this two different times. So for the left one, tick size 0.125, text height 0.125, 
click on the icon next to tick label text, click the text on the right, change your precision on the left, push it over, hit OK, change our text style to S SATC annotative, minor ticks, make that 0 0.0625, everything else there is good. So go ahead and hit apply, that changed it over here on the left, right there. So we need to go make those same changes on the right. So I'll go ahead and click on right, tick size 0.125, tick size 0.125, tick label text, click on the icon, click the text on the right, change the precision to be the nearest foot, push it over, hit OK. Change our text style to SATC annotative. Change my tick size to 0 0.065. And that looks good there. Come on over to display. I can go ahead and hit apply so that that will update. On display, a couple of things I know I'm going to change is my grid horizontal major. So I'll turn it off, hit apply, and you'll see those grid lines go away. Grid vertical major, go ahead and click on that, hit apply. You'll see those go away, then go ahead and hit OK. So now that's fairly close. So then we just have a kind of a few things left there to update. So if we go back here to this cross section that we're looking at, I think you'll see that this is pretty similar to the one we have up on screen. You might have another couple little changes to make, but the rest of this is all just text. So existing grade. I just created that as a piece of text. This information down here for our different layers of our road, that's just a multi-line text. And then these are dimensions. So I updated the dimension style as I needed to, and then created those. And then uh, this text here on the sides, this text across here, that was all automatically created with the cross-section view or from the code set style. Uh, cut here, that was a piece of text that I added and then the center line of the proposed road, that was text that I added. So that should be everything you need to know to be able to create this cross-section from editing the code set style, editing the cross-section view, or then and then just adding text and dimensions on top of that cross-section. So I hope that all goes well for you, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks again.